Kingfisher is a team within the UK Seafish Industry Authority, Seafish, tasked with improving fishing safety by providing fishermen with news of offshore activities and the location of fishing hazards, structures and zones. This short film aims to give fishermen a basic understanding of the potential offshore structures they may encounter whilst fishing around the coast of the UK. Within the UK sector of the North Sea and Irish Sea, there are large concentrations of oil and gas structures and associated activities taking place. There are approximately 27,000 kilometers of pipeline, 1,200 surface and subsea structures, 200 dangerous pipeline spans, and 160 square kilometers of safety zones. Entering safety zones is prohibited, although fishing is not restricted around structures outside of these zones. However, it can be extremely dangerous. This modern trawler is fishing with a twin rig gear. The gear is towed along the seabed with trawl doors around 120 meters apart and a total length of gear stretching up to 500 meters from the stern of the vessel. The headline height of the net may be 3 to 4 meters above the seabed. The fishing gear approaches and narrowly misses a suspended wellhead. These are wellheads that are not currently in production and have been suspended awaiting further intervention. There are 200 suspended wellheads in the North Sea and they are effectively immovable structures, fixed to the seabed and 4 meters high. They may be taller than a London bus. The network of pipelines connecting infrastructure and taking oil and gas to shore vary in size. They may be up to 1 meter in diameter. Some are buried or laid in a trench, others are surface laid. Rock may be used to cover sections of pipeline. It may not always be possible for fishing gear to cross pipelines safely. Dangerous pipeline spans, where there is a large gap between the pipeline and the seabed, increase the risk of a trawl door becoming snagged under the pipeline. If this occurs, it may be difficult to recover fishing gear. In the past, this type of scenario has contributed to fishing vessels capsizing and sinking, with the loss of all fishermen on board. Large anchors hold many oil and gas floating or semi-submersible infrastructure in place, including drilling rigs and floating installations. Stervpree style drag anchors, as shown here, penetrate the seabed and, depending on type, may weigh in the region of 15 tons. Suction anchors may also be used, which are large hollow steel tubes driven into the seabed but may stick up 2 meters from the seabed. Some anchor lines and anchors may extend up to 2,000 meters from the installation, many hundreds of meters outside of a 500-meter safety zone. Around the coast of the UK, there is a large number of licensed areas dedicated to renewable energy. Some are wave and tidal sites, although the largest in terms of number and acreage are offshore wind farms. The UK has more than 30 offshore wind farms, with several thousand wind turbines installed. Fishing in the vicinity of these structures and their network of cables can be extremely dangerous. This static gear vessel is fishing with traps, also known as pots or creels. A string of traps will be shot from the vessel onto the seabed with a dan or buoy to mark the location of each end of the string. There may be up to 100 traps on a string. Although potting is relatively non-intrusive, if strings are lost or moved by weather or tides, finding or recovering pots from within a wind farm can bring added risk. An extensive network of cables installed within a wind farm link together each turbine. Generally, all cables within a wind farm, known as interarray cables, will pass through an offshore substation before export cables take the power to shore. Wind turbines may be installed between 400 meters and 1,500 meters apart. Cables are commonly installed in straight lines between turbines, although this is not always the case. Burial is attempted upon installation. However, successful burial is not always possible with exposed sections or cable spans possible within a development. Rock or concrete mattresses may be used in large quantities to offer added protection to cables. For the purposes of fishing safety, it is important to note the corridors between turbines that are free from cables and the added risk that comes from fishing close to cables and turbines.
Around the coast of the UK, there are over 300 telecoms and power cables. These cables provide communications and power links to the rest of the world, and with over 50,000 kilometers of cables in the water surrounding the UK, they may be encountered in all the major sea areas and have the potential to be extremely dangerous to fishing. This vessel is fishing with scallop gear. The vessel is working seven dredges from each beam, which are towed along the seabed. There are times at the front of each dredge to flip the scallops out of the seabed and into a collecting bag behind it. This type of fishing can be particularly damaging to subsea cables, and there is also an increased risk with this type of gear to the vessel becoming snagged on a cable. This scenario has contributed to fishing vessels losing their gear, or in some cases, capsizing and sinking with loss of life. At the time of installation, burial of cables into the seabed is attempted. However, if the seabed is very hard, there may be a danger that sections of cable remain unburied and are laid on the surface of the seabed. If a cable does get damaged, it will be recovered to the surface for repair. Following the repair, by adding and splicing in a new segment of cable, a large section of slack will be laid back to the seabed. This will be at a 90 degree angle and may extend at least one and a half times the water depth away from the original cable route. In deeper waters, this may be a distance of more than 1,500 meters. With very mobile seabeds, cables may become exposed due to the scouring effects of tides and currents. In this situation, sections of cable may be laying on the seabed or spanning hollows, forming cable spans. Exposed sections of cable are vulnerable to damage from fishing gear. They also present a significant hazard to fishing due to their unknown length and location, increasing the risk of snagging. The varied and rapidly changing seabed around the UK makes it almost impossible to accurately chart all exposed sections of cable. Caution should be exercised if fishing in the vicinity of subsea cables. By working closely with the fishing industry, offshore operators, trade bodies and other stakeholders, Kingfisher work to provide information, alerting fishermen to potentially hazardous structures and activities. For more information, please contact Kingfisher or visit the websites shown on screen.